Join us as we hike the beautiful Willisville Ridge near Whitefish Falls, Ontario, and we delve into a bit of the local history, including an old fire tower, the town of Willisville, and the Group of Seven. The drive to the parking area features some of the most scenic highway you'll see in the region. Just to the right is the start or end of the historic Heaven's Gate Trail. Well, I'll go climb Willisville Mountain. Let's go. The trail up the White Quartzite Hill is well marked and offers great places to stop and take in the view. Okay, we've got a bit of a technical climb here, buddy. You up for it? Yeah, let's do it. Today, we'll climb over 80 meters to reach the 337 meter or 1100 foot high Willisville Peak. Showing off for the camera. A mining company in Sudbury needed quartzite from this area for its nickel refining process, and so the Lawson Quarry just to the south was established. To house the employees, the company built several houses in what is now known as Willisville. Wanna go find the foundations? Let's go look. Oh, this is what's left of the old fire tower. Can make that out, but it says forestry something. Before the tower was built in 1927, Ernest Willis served as forest ranger for the area. Ernest and his wife Ada would have to portage and paddle the area lakes to be on the lookout for fires. John Burke was the first tower ranger and he kept a guest book that shows the names of anyone who braved the 80 foot high climb to the very top. The original tower can also be seen in the 1960s television series Adventures in Rainbow Country, which was filmed in this area. I put a link for the tower episode in the description. It's definitely worth a look. The tower was dismantled in 1986, so it's hard to imagine how spectacular that view must have been. But thanks to modern technology, maybe we can get an idea. We continue eastward toward an important historical location, a lake that drew in renowned artist A.J. Casson and other members of the Group of Seven. Franklin Carmichael even built a log cabin here that still stands to this day. Okay, we're gonna walk the rest of the ridge to uh, just over top of the town of Willisville. <laughs> you just won't keep going. As far as we're going, buddy. Inspired by the book titled In the Footsteps of the Group of Seven by Jim and Sue Waddington, I took a stab at trying to spot the actual hills in Casson's painting named Brood Lake. Even though the vantage points are not the same, this still looks like a possible fit to me. When the Algoma Eastern Railway opened, Ernest Willis opened a store at Willisville and served as postmaster until his untimely death in 1919 after which his wife Ada assumed the role. It was a privilege to be able to walk in the footsteps of Ernest Willis and A.J. Casson today, and if you ever get the chance, I hope you can do the same. We hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.